Welcome to another video. It looks like the Chevy Colorado is finally going to get a refresh and a little bit of a facelift. But before I get into that, I want to say thank you so much for all your support on the channel, uh, your subscriptions, your likes, all your comments. We have exceeded 3,000 subscribers this week, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot. It's a small milestone for a small channel, but you got to start somewhere. I'm very, very appreciative of all your support. I love conversing with everyone in the comments about the videos, getting your feedback, getting your thoughts, and it's just been a very humbling experience, a very fun experience, and although it is a small channel, I'm... I really want to see it grow. I want to see more people uh, coming into what I'm going to call our little car community here. So we've hit 3,000 subscribers. Let's aim for five. And then after we hit five, we're going to go for 10. And we're just going to keep rolling with it and see how far we can take this channel. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Leave some comments. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Leave your feedback. And... Trust me, it all goes to heart. It really does. And I, again, I can't express enough how appreciative I am of all of you watching this video. Now, that being said, enough of that. Let's get into that Chevy Colorado. The Ford Ranger, the Toyota Tacoma, and the Chevy Colorado have been making ways, selling lots of vehicles, and they are extremely capable on-road and off-road, making great daily drivers. Now, since 2015, the Colorado has pretty much been the same. It is definitely due for a refresh, and that is what we're finally going to get for the 2021 model. Now, this is a refresh. It's not a complete remodel of the entire truck, so you'll get a little bit of a facelift here, a nip and tuck there. You know how it goes, just making it look a little more to date. Now, the truck has aged rather well. It is a good-looking truck. It still looks good today but it looks a little soft. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but it looks a little soft. The front end was kind of round and soft looking, and now it looks sharper, more aggressive, and more in your face, kind of menacing. I like that. As you can see, the new front end for the 2021 Colorado has more of that um, aggressive look that the Silverado now has. A lot more grill, a lot more angularity, and it just looks meaner. This is the biggest change you're going to see for the Colorado. It looks more military to me. It looks more aggressive. It looks more uh, ready to fight, so to speak, I guess. But I love the new look of it. I like this look on the Colorado more than I like the look on the Silverado. Now, the picture you have here, obviously, this is the ZR2 model in a new paint color as well. This is a sand dune metallic paint that uh, is available on the Z71 and ZR2 models. I'm not sure why it's only these two models, I guess because they are the off-road specific models, they're gonna give you more of an off-road type paint job. Now, I really love the paint job. I think it looks fantastic. I love the combination of that and the black accents, the black on the hood, I love how the black uh, bars come under the headlights. It just looks mean, menacing, ready to fight again. Um, great looking vehicle. Now, the other change you're going to see for 2020 is going to be the tailgate. Instead of the bow tie, you're going to get the word Chevrolet written right across the tailgate. Also similar to the Silverado. Now, this model was just debuted the other day at the Method Race Wheels Laughlin Desert Classic. The truck will also be debuted at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. Now, there's also a couple other minor things that you may notice. Now, again, this is small little stuff. The interior, which is probably going to all stay the same. There's been no uh, comments about any changes to the interior. Everything else is kind of little stuff for the exterior. Um, speaking of exterior, now the WT, LT, and Z71 Colorados are going to get updated center bars, lower fascias, and front skid plates. The WT and LT trims will still have the golden bow tie logos, although they will be kind of refreshed. And the Z71 and ZR2 models will get a black bow tie logo. Now, again, very small, little intricate little things that they're going to change. Nothing crazy, but they definitely bring the truck to date. They give it a newer look, and I think it's something the truck really needed. 
The truck never looked bad, but it just looked soft. I know I keep using that word soft and it's kind of like, it's a truck, it's nice, but it's never really aggressive. Um, unless you went to the ZR2 model, which really, really looks good. I absolutely love the ZR2, but the ZR2 is very pricey. Not everyone can afford that one. Um, the Z71 model still looks nice. Uh, you know, you could put a leveling kit on it or something like that and kind of give it a more aggressive stance, but it still had that soft bumper. So this bumper is what's really going to stand out in the crowd and really give that Colorado the aggressive look it really needs. As for the powertrain options, you can get a 2.5 liter four cylinder with 200 horsepower and 191 pound feet of torque. Then there's also that 3.6 liter V6 with 308 horsepower, 275 pound feet of torque, and the 2.8 liter Duramax with 181 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. Now, this will be coming out for the 2021 model, which means you'll probably see it in the last quarter of 2020. Can't wait to see that. Let's just hope the price tag doesn't go up uh, too dramatically high. All right, now for the bit of mini news. Again, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has lost his mind. I don't know what is going on with this guy, but now we're looking at custom horns for the Tesla models. Now, this is a little crazy. Uh, apparently, he's a big fan of the Monty Python movies and the Holy Grail and there's a part in the movie where they clank coconuts together to make it sound like horses. And he was thinking about putting that in for a customized horn. Sounds like absolutely nuts. He's also talking about using goat sounds and all this other stuff. I don't know what's going on with this guy. He's absolutely lost it. I think it's kind of funny though. Part of the article you read makes it sound like he's somewhat serious. I don't know how you could be serious about a horn that sounds like a goat or a horn that sounds like coconuts being clanked together, but Apparently he wants to customize it. He said it's not the only sounds that which he's um, considering using for the Model 3 and I believe the Model S and a couple other ones. But I think this guy's fallen off his rocker, hit his head a couple too many times. And this is just bizarre. It's absolutely bizarre. I know the mini news isn't very big today. It's just something funny I found I would throw in there. But make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, which I hope you did. And I'll see you next time.